Yo, what's up guys? It's Robin here and uh, for this video, I'm going to be teaching you uh, my strategy for playing um, patch 11.12. Basically, this is how I've been uh, approaching the games right now and I, I feel like it's uh, it'll be really, really helpful for you guys. It's a very, very like um, easy way to play the game right now and um, let's just get right into it. So uh, basically, um, for this patch, vertical comps are very strong. So what is a vertical comp? Basically, vertical comps are any comps that have six traits of the six, six of the same traits or more. So an example would be like six redeemed, six Dawnbringer, you know, six forgotten, stuff like that. So the, these comps are ex especially strong right now um, for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, it's very, very easy to roll down for. You won't get dizzy like rolling down, like not, not knowing what units to look for. In this case... Um, you just like if you're playing redeem, you're just rolling for you're just picking up the redeem units. If you're playing Dawnbringer, you're just picking up the Dawnbringer units. If you're playing Forgotten, you're just picking up the Forgotten units. So it's very very easy to uh, roll for. And the other reason is um now with the new armories, you're actually very very likely to get the the spat that you that your vertical spat. So let's say your your board is full of redeemed, and then you reach the four two five two or six two armory. It's actually a very, very high chance that you get a redeem spat. Which, if you get a, a redeem spat, Dominator spat, or Forgotten spat, and if you're playing that respective comp, it's actually extremely, extremely strong. Um, so that, that's another reason why vertical comps are stronger right now. Um, so I would recommend you know you to play just play these vertical vertical traits, vertical comps right now. Easy to play and very, very strong in the meta. So I'm gonna go through each comp and kind of let you know like the openers for the comps, what items you want to go for. And like um, the level six roll down, what are you looking for if you have to roll at level six? What are you gonna look for if you have to roll at level seven? Your end game board and stuff like that. So first of all, we have the redeemed comp. Okay, so 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 basically, um, so for the redeemed comp, um, common openers that make you want to go the redeemed comp is a, obviously a redeemed opener. If you ever have a redeemed opener, um, you know, and with like the proper items, you can just uh, hard force uh, redeemed. So let's say. Uh, a popular unit uh, for redeem opener is Leona, Leona Aatrox. These are the two one cost redeem units. So if you if you see like an Aatrox Leona plus a Varus or something early game, then you can just commit to redeemed. Um, uh, Syndra is also a popular one with Varus. So if you see any of these four units, if you, if you can two star any of these four units, I would just commit to playing redeemed. So early game is going to be three redeemed, four redeemed plus an extra unit to round out the traits. Usually you will be playing, you will probably be playing, you know, something like. Um, a poppy to get an early knight um, you can play a Callista for like an early legionnaire you can if you hit a uh, riven or yasuo you can play yasuo you can play riven for the legionnaire with aatrox you can even play you know vein if you get vein to ranger with varus basically just round out the traits um with your redeemed units um but a, a lot of com a lot of times you will be playing like knight something like this and then you take out the aatrox you don't really need it Something like this. Like your early game will consist of three redeemed plus um, you know, whatever whatever traits you can get. So a common thing to roll for at level six, I would say is four knight, three redeemed. Uh, it's pretty easy to roll for. All you have to do at level six, you roll down four Poppy, Nautilus, Thresh, and Leona. And then here you have four knights, three redeemed, which is pretty, pretty strong mid game. You know, you can also swap out two knights and play like a ranger with Ash. And just like another unit here at level six, um, it doesn't really matter. Just like your strongest board. When you get to level seven, though, uh, this is where you can roll down for six redeemed. Because in order to get six redeemed, you need to hit one rel or one Velkaz. And level seven has the best chances to get it. So at level seven, you just drop everything and you just play six redeemed. So you're gonna roll down, and you're gonna play Lux rel Velkaz if you hit. So something like this. Normally, um. It's like this plus uh so your level seven will be six redeemed plus one unit right um the one unit it can be an invoker i like i like playing an invoker um so something like ivern to get invoker with syndra um but you can also play a spell weaver for velkos but i don't really like playing spell weaver because you already get so much ap from redeemed that spell weaver doesn't really um uh, provide too much um you can also play a knight front line with double front line with leona you can also play like Hecarim for Cavalier with Rel. Hecarim or like um, Sedge, Cavalier with Rel. You can also play a Mystic with Lux. So it's actually very, very, um, outside of the six redeemed, it's very, very um, flexible. And normally in this comp, you're going to be carrying Velkaz. So the items you want to look for is definitely Shojin on Velkaz and then two AP items. So, you know, Rabadons, JG, um, Gunblade, you know, works. Uh, maybe Gwinsu's uh, for more attack speed. 
JGIE works, you know, it, it's it's the same build for Velkaz. And then and then it's an it's an extremely extremely strong board. Uh positioning, you know, you just want you probably just want corner Velkaz, put Lux in the other corner, put Syndra next to Velkaz to to counter the assassins, maybe put a uh Maybe put like an assassin bait over on top of Velkaz, and you just front, solo front line Leona. Rel can charge. You can double front line with Rel and Leona. It's it's enough. Usually it's enough front line. Something like this. And then level eight, you just round out the traits. You just play like Ironclad. You know you can play Nautilus for Ironclad Knight. You can play Cav. You can play Mystic. You can play Kindred for Ranger Mystic. You can play Renewer. You know you can play. You, there's a lot of stuff you can play. But the core units is just six redeemed, so it's very very easy to play. The next comp I'm gonna be talking about is uh, the next route I'm gonna be talking about is the Dawnbringer route. Basically, you play this. You play Dawnbringers whenever you have a Dawnbringer opener, okay? Uh, so Dawnbringer opener. What is a Dawnbringer opener? Dawnbringer opener is going to be Gragas and Kha'Zix. If you have like an early Gragas 2 or early Kha'Zix 2, uh, I would just commit to Karma, honestly. Like, it, it's such a good, it's such a strong opener and it's such an easy transition into Karma because you're probably going to be keeping Gragas 2 the whole game. So common opener is going to be, you know, obviously it's going to be Gragas, Warwick with two Brawlers and you can play like uh, Katarina for Sins. But usually, um, what I find myself doing is that I'll probably, like, if you hit a Riven or Nidalee or Soraka, you can easily play 4 Dombringer um, at level 5 or level 6. Um, you most likely hit Soraka, and all you need to hit is Riven or Nidalee. So you play a board like this, and at level 6, you can just you can just put in, like, a Legionnaire to buff Riven or something like this. And then this is your level 6. So basically, you just uh, go through the early game, and then, you know, you can even, you can even play Lissandra over here as an item as an item holder for um karma but this is probably like a, a example like level six board so once you get to level seven is where the where you want to get sixth on in so basically you're gonna keep you're gonna roll down and you're gonna go for all the downbringers so nidalee plus karma so this is gonna be your board um usually the last unit I want, so this is gonna be it's gonna be sixth on um it, you need to hit karma for sixth on and um the the seventh unit i like to play is is ivern because you get the uh, you get an extra frontline and you get invoker, which is really really good. This comp kind of lacks kind of lacks frontline, so that's why you really really need Gragas too. And items such as Shadow Locket is very very good for this comp. But this is an example like level seven. This is basically like the only variation of it. If you have to roll at seven, I would just go for six dawn, or you can play like four a mixture of four dawn with like random synergies like brawler or you know <clears throat> brawler like um, four brawlers for four dawnbringer or something like that. At level 8 is when you want to look for Garen. Garen is super, super cru crucial in this comp. The power spike from get Garen and non-Garen is like a big, a big difference. So um, level 8, you want to roll for Garen and all you, you just take out Kha'Zix for Garen. And then you the 8th the unit you I like to play is going to be Volibear. Uh, and then this comp, you, after you get Volibear, you have a lot of, a lot of frontline. So this comp becomes super good. Um, so this is a combo I always look to, look for. So items that you want on Karma, it's going. I like to have a tier item on Karma because without a tier item, Karma actually like ramps up too slow. So either blue buff or Shojin both work on Karma. And then the two other items you want, you just want AP items. So then um um you just want like you know Archangel is pretty good, Ravidons, JG, IE, Hodge, Shadow Hodge, any tier or mana item you just put it on Karma. Um and then any tank items you'll probably you want to put it on Garen. But just how the game goes, you're probably gonna be having you're probably gonna be having on Gragas too. So if you can hold, if you can get a um, another Gragas two on bench, you can swap items. But usually you just have the items on Gragas two, which is fine. Um, and then if you have any leftover AD items, I would put it on Riven as a secondary carry. Um, so like another key item that's really really good for this comp is gonna be Morello. You can put Morello either on Garen or Volibear. But Morello is really good for this comp because this comp doesn't do that much like burst damage. It does like continue it, it like t trickles them down so if they have healing and you don't have morello um it's gonna be very very hard to kill them so morello is very very good for this comp um and that's why this comp if you want to play like play dombringer um a good start for this comp is going to be rod start because um you can use infinite rods so this is basically the um the, the karma comp so you can if you're if you're playing karma and you're you're super high rolling or you can go nine and you want to try to cap out your board harder you can transition into invokers by playing Timo, Heimer, and dropping a couple of Dawnbringers. Uh, but this is essentially the Dawnbringer comp. So if you have a Dawnbringer opener, I would just uh, aim to play Karma carry. The next comp, the next comp is going to be the the Yasuo comp. This isn't really a vertical comp, but um, it isn't really a vertical comp. But it's very very close. You're basically playing four Nightbringer, four Dragon Slayer, um, and then I would play this comp if you ever get an early Yasuo or if you have like a Nightbringer opener. 
So, so what is a Nightbringer opener? Um, basically, uh, Nightbringer opener is going to be probably like something like Vladimir. Vlad, if you get like Vladimir, um, Sejuani, and if you get an early, if you ever get an early orb of Lee Sin or Yasuo, and you have good Yasuo items, I would just play Yasuo comp. It's very, very easy to play, and it's also extremely, extremely strong. So something like this, like if you have like a four Nightbringer opener, then then I would just commit to Yasuo. Um, if you have you know an early Yasuo, you can play like a Callista or like um, Lissandra here or something like this. But I do always I, I do try to play the four Nightbringer. If you get an early Lee Sin, you can play Skirms. Um, something like you can play like an Udir plus you know if you get a Pantheon, it's very good. If you get Trundle, if you get an early Trundle. Um, it's a very very strong comp. So I would say like if you ever have like a Nightbringer skirmisher like uh, opener, I will play this comp. Uh, basically level four, level five. Le so level four, level five is just gonna you're just gonna play like you round up your units. Pretty simple. Um, if you have to roll at level six though, I would just look for you know units I would look for is definitely gonna be Yasuo, Trundle, Pantheon, Lee Sin. I would look for a probably like two more Nightbringers. So probably like a Sedge and like Morgana. Um, your level 6 is probably going to be 4 Nightbringer, like 3 Skirms, something like this. Uh, this is like a board to look for um, if you have to roll at 6. Um, when you have to roll at 7 though, you're, at level 7, your your final board is... It, you, you can actually reach your final board at level 7, which is going to be Diana um, and Mordekaiser, and then plus Morgana. So it's going to be 4 D-Slayer, 4 Nightbringer, and then 3 Skirmisher, 2 Legionnaire, something like this. It's always going to be these 7 units. So it's very very easy to play and roll down for and basically for this comp you're just gonna stay at level seven the whole game and roll for yasuo three and then pantheon three Lee Sin three trundle three if it comes to you this comp however this comp is very very popular so more likely than not you're going to be contested if you're contested i would recommend just skipping level seven and going level eight to 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 start every, everyone else and to play a mystic with at level eight you usually play mystic uh, Lux, Lulu, Rise, they all work. For this comp, um, best in slot Yasuo is going to be Runons. In my opinion, it's Runons, RFC, and like either JG or Shadow Hodge. They both work. But honestly, Yasuo items are so, are so like flexible. A lot of items can work. Like Runons, you know, uh, Shadow RFC works. Um, you know, Giant Slayer works. Rabadons works. Uh, JG IE works. Hodge works. Like the way that Yasuo works is that he can benefit from um, attack speed and AP items. So another item is good as Archangels. You know, GA is good on him. So don't hesitate. Like, don't always go for BIS. Um, if you have the tier and rod, you know, slam the slam the Archangels. If you have like Bobo, you know, slam the RFC. Um, don't lose too much HP early game trying to greed for best in slot items. After you itemize Yasuo. The other items don't really matter, but uh, an item that's extremely good in this comp is, is Shadow Locket. Because uh, it gives you so many stats for your frontliners and you don't really need uh, mana. Um, and then, I, usually you're stacking all your other items on Lee Sin in this comp. Because you don't get Mordekaiser that early. So usually you're going to be stacking Lee Sin with like Morello or like stuff like Warmogs. Um, you know, Trap Claw, Shadow Trap Claw, Zeke's is good. Um, Frozen Heart is good on Diana. It's just like the usual stuff. So basically this is the Yasuo comp. Uh, level 8, you will level up and play a Mystic. Usually it's going to be Lulu, and you just put Lulu next to Yasuo, because Lulu's attack speed stereo on Yasuo is extremely, extremely good. The last comp I'm going to be talking about is the Forgotten comp. So whenever you have a Forgotten opener, you can just commit fully commit to playing 6 Forgotten. So what is a Forgotten opener? Um, you know, pretty simple. Just any of the, any, if you, if you get a lot of Forgotten units early game, um, you can just commit to this comp, whether it be Vayne, Warwick, Hecarim, Victor, Victor, Thresh, as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of Forgotten units in this game. If you get like a common, like you, th I think the most common Forgotten opener is probably going to be played around Victor and not Vayne. And then it's probably going to be like Spellweaver Brawlers plus Forgotten. So like you have Bran and you just play, um, you just level up, level 5 will be a Forgotten. This is like a very, very common like um, Forgotten opener. Um, and then you just itemize Victor because you're going to be selling Victor later on anyways. If you ever get a Katarina, and you're at level six. I would recommend you roll down for six forgotten, because in order to get six forgotten, the Katarina is the hardest unit to hit. So if you already hit Katarina, it's actually very very easy to get six forgotten. And if you hit six forgotten at level six, you will probably cruise uh, stage three. 
Um, so an example board would probably be like you hit Katarina and then level at uh, three two level six you roll down for six forgotten, which is Thresh and like Vayne, and then now you have six forgotten, and this is extremely extremely strong. And then level seven is when you roll for it's going to be six forgotten plus one unit. Uh, but for this comp, um, you want to be uh, items don't really matter too much, but you want to be getting as many forgotten components as you can and just slamming the forgotten components um, and making a strong board. Um, in this comp, you're not really you're not always carrying Draven. A lot of times you can carry Victor, you can carry Katarina, you can also carry Rise if you get Shadow Blue buff. Um, so just slam items and always get forgotten components and just slam forgotten um, just slam forgotten items. You you usually never want to slam two forgotten components because it, it wastes uh, a forgotten component. You want to slam a non-forgotten component with a forgotten component. So you can maximize your forgotten components in this in this comp. Key items to go for is definitely going to be Shadow Blue Buff. Shadow Blue Buff uh, transfer to Rise is, is extremely extremely OP right now, and it's probably going to be fixed. Uh, it's kind of it's it's for sure going to be nerfed next patch. Um, so items Shadow Blue Buff, but honestly, any Shadow item is good. You know, Shadow Trap Claw is usually a good early slam. Um, Shadow Runons, is, Shadow Deathblade is good to transfer to uh, Draven later. Shadow Ionic is good to put on Katarina. Um, you know. Shadow Rabadons, uh, Shadow Zeke's is good on Vayne. If you have a, if you have, if you have 80 items, you can carry Vayne instead of Victor. And yeah, this is like an example, like uh, level six, level seven is when you should roll down and probably try to look for Draven and Rise. So the sample of six forgotten board I like to play is going to be six forgotten um, plus Rel. So I think Legionnaire, two Legionnaire is like a fake trait. And Mordekaiser isn't that great, great of a unit right now. So the seventh unit I like to play is going to be Rel. And basically the items is going to be, you know, probably ideally it's going to be Shadow Blue Buff on Rise and then like a Shadow Locket for Frontline. And then, you know, any Shadow items that you left over on Draven. So like, you know, Shadow Runons and like, you know, Shadow GS, something like this. A lot of people make the, make the mistake of like itemizing for Draven early game. Um, building items like IE, Last Whisper, and stuff like that early game. But that I, I think that's the wrong way to play Forgotten. For Forgotten, you want to play Strongest Board and itemize for your board right now. So, like, let's say you get an early Katarina, you want to itemize for Katarina. So you want to go for, like, you know, Shadow Ionic, uh, Shadow Blue Buff, Shadow Shadow Rabadons, um, Shadow JG, stuff like that, Shadow IE, you know, Shadow GA, stuff like that. You can also go for tank items on Hecarim early game, Shadow Locket, Shadow Warmogs, Shadow Bramble, Shadow D-Claw, whatever. So this is your sample like level 7 board. When I when you get to level 8, you know, you can just round out your trades, play like a Nautilus for Ironclad Knight, or you can play Mystic if the lobby's AP heavy. But basically this is your comp. The true the true carry in this comp is going to be Rise if you have Shadow Blue Buff. If you do have the Shadow Blue Buff on Rise, you can stack AP items on Rise. Item, uh, uh, the, the GA and Shadow Blue Buff combo is extremely good, and you just stack like a JG on him, and then rise which is literally 1v9 uh that's it for my vertical comps guide this is probably the best way to play the game i don't want to say there's like no best way to play the game right now but this is a very efficient and easy and strong way to play the game right now basically whatever opener you get you just play that vertical comp so you don't get dizzy and you know what items to get and um you won't you know it'll be a very very easy roll down um, so basically, if you have a redeemed opener, you look towards six redeemed a Velkaz Lux Varus carry. If you have a Dawnbringer opener, you look to play Karma. If you have a Nightbringer uh, Skirmisher opener, you look to play Yasuo. And if you have a Forgotten opener, you look to play six Forgotten. Let me know if there's any comps I missed uh, for this patch, and I'll see you guys next time.